Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, it is Monday, October 2nd, uh, and it is uh, time for us to chat about the Kubernetes Contributor Summit for North America. So glad to see you all here. I'm feeling much more awake, alert, and lively after our spirited conversation in the banter period. Um, and I'm so, so very glad that you all are here with us. Um, we've got the doc for notes that I'm going to drop in the comments here. Uh, and yeah, if you haven't already, looks like someone has taken good notes for us. Thank you, whoever that is already. Um, adding names. And yeah, the first thing is the lead updates. I have apron news. <laughs> Um, we can save it for the swag section. Um, but yeah, the biggest thing is that we need your voice. We need your choices. Uh, so we need you to vote. <laughs> and then also to um yeah, tell us what you want in the in the sheet. The links are down below in the swag section. I will talk about it at more length once we get down there. But for now, uh let's pass it to uh, updates. Uh, Brian has no specific updates today, but if you have questions, let's go. Hi, Brian. I'm here for moral support today. <laughs> nice. Actually, when, do we have the contract locked in for the space? Not yet. It's with Angela. So okay. she's moving. I think she's like on her way back from China. So it might be like another day or so, but she usually gets to it pretty quick. Oh, dope, dope, dope. Um, great. And then once we get that locked in, what do we need for the social event? I just need to know um, what activities are planned, if mm -hmm. they have schedule, um, anything like that, basically any specific signage. Yeah. Um, but as far as like food and beverage and setup and everything, that's going to be all taken care of. So. It's really Wonderful. just finding out what activities are planned at this point. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. Have Have you found out about the greenhouse? Um, I emailed them on Friday. I haven't heard back yet, but I'm sure I'll okay. hear back today. All right. Uh, Kaylin, pass it to you. The schedule is up. Um, I accidentally published it and then was felt like I wasn't going to remove it because people saw. So there's a little bit of people being like, ah, am I speaking? Is this even my talk? So, um, a little bit of a uh, learning curve for next year. Also, I'm going to, well, we'll see when I have time, probably closer to the end, I'm going to try and get for next year, the Excel spreadsheet that we have to fill out for, to import them all to sketch, to just be the fields that we get from the sheet because that was a very bad day of, of oh. moving all of that over holy heck was that rough um yeah can so we, can we drop that in the retro uh doc so that we don't forget yes i will do that awesome. um thank you and then yes yeah, so okay uh and then we sent out the acceptance emails and asked for speaker bios and emails because some people were a bit inconsistent with the speaker details they gave. Um, and so this week, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, definitely by the end of the day, Wednesday, uh, I will update the whole schedule to have the bios and um, emails. And then I think probably it's worthwhile sending out an email saying that the schedule is up and saying uh, the unconference issue is open if you want to get your ideas in there in advance. Perfect. And that's awesome. all for me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Um, and then for comms, Avanesh. Yeah. Uh, so we got the mails out. Uh, we did receive some requests from uh, speakers regarding the uh, schedule conflicts. I think there were two. Uh, we're still waiting for other people to get uh, uh, to get bio requests and confirmation mails uh, response from them. Basically, um, we received like five of them. Uh, I don't know if we should send that thing again. Also, uh, while I was doing this thing, we realized that uh, there there was something that was not proper in terms of how we are communicating with individual speakers. Uh, 
I think uh, getting the word out of acceptance via summit team in a group is not a good way to do it. Uh, maybe we should look for uh, a solo account that is uh, sending the mails uh, regarding the speakers particularly. But other than that, uh, we also, I realized that we didn't send acceptance mails to every speaker that were involved in a talk. So it the mails were sent to only one speaker uh, whose primary mail was given. Uh, and I got, a, I got a DM from someone who said, uh, I've not received the mail, uh, but we didn't send the that particular mail. And I think that there, there was only one, one talk with two mails. Uh, other than that, there were no other uh, speaker sessions which provided us with the mails. So we couldn't ideally send it to every other speaker. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so maybe that's something for uh, content next time when we collect the information about the speakers getting emails from all of them as opposed to just one. Um, all right. Uh, could you put those uh, findings that you have uh, in the retro doc about uh, the email addresses and um, about the email address to send to speakers and then the email address uh, co gathering collection when people are submitting? Um, the retro doc is linked at the top of the notes. Okay. Um, great. Uh, celebration, Natish. Yeah, uh, so we decided for the first of all the karaoke setup. Uh, we are not planning to do that, but uh, we generally have a couple of new ideas that we would like to proceed with the celebration. And the first idea is like the tech poetry slam. So uh, what we generally plan for in tech poetry slam is uh, something like we'll be inviting attendees to share their tech related poems or short stories in a poetry slam event. Um, we think that it's a very unique way to blend technology with artistic expressions. Uh, this is the first thing and, and for this thing will be required, I think, a speaker as well, right? Um, and a mic set, of course. Uh, the second thing that we are looking for in an idea is like something like a feedback, bo feedback box, right? Uh, so in this, it will be something like this. Um, let's suppose uh, there will be a lot of attendees, right? So there will be actually three different different boxes, maybe suppose one in the red color, one maybe in the green color and one maybe in the blue color, right? So there will be three types of feedback boxes which will be painted in different colors, say red, blue, yellow, right? Uh, the blue one will be, will contain the notes uh, based on the feedback of the event, right? How is the event? Uh, do you have any anonymous feedbacks, right? Uh, the red one will contain some anonymous feedback notes for a particular person, maybe for me, maybe for you, or maybe from anyone we don't know, right? Um, the yellow box will contain the notes that will be different from both of these previous boxes. It can be like any any other thing, right? So these, these specific feedback notes will be uh, put inside by the attendees for the attendees, right? Uh, it's not a compulsion. If anyone has a feedback for the for, for something they don't like or they like, uh, they are free, free to uh, do that, right? Um, and then what will happen is we can maybe pick some few folks and we'll be literally sharing, we'll be literally sharing these notes, uh, some interesting stuff that has been written on these notes uh, to the public, right? For example, something someone has a very good feedback, they will be sharing it in the uh, during the event, right? Someone um, has a feedback for this person. For example, I have a feedback for you, right? So that's the kind of a way we are uh, planning for having um, in the celebrations as well. And we are definitely require some more, uh, we're looking for the feedbacks on how should we proceed with this thing. Okay, thoughts folks. Um, first item on like, the poetry tech poetry slam. What do uh, what do you all think? I think it sounds fun. All we need yeah. is a PA. Yeah, we're probably going to end up using a portable um, karaoke system based on talking to the venue, unless that's changed, Brian. No, I still think that probably is the best plan. Okay. Um, the um, the other trick is. I'd like to find people who are going to commit to going up in front of the mic well before the uh, event. 
I think if we have three people who have committed to doing it, we'll probably get a few more. Um, and this is based on our experience with karaoke in the past, is that we just need to get people to commit in advance. OK. Um, and then uh, on the feedback boxes, thoughts? Once. Find my microphone. There we go. Okay. Um, please label the boxes. I put this in chat because uh, there are people who cannot see your colors. Um, so we want to make this as accessible as possible. And it might actually be better to have a Google form or something really easy for people to access because that then can be read by a screen reader too. So just some thoughts about accessibility on the uh, feedback. We we usually do a post-event survey. Um, mm -hmm. That's just a, a Google form that goes out. Although our uh, number of responses tends to be pretty low. Do you think it'll improve having it at the celebration if there's like a QR code to a Google form and like instructions for folks who want to take it? I think it's more likely to get people to physically write something while they're there than to turn away from the event to get onto a form. Yeah, plus one, like having some kind of like, I don't you know, post that you'd feedback. put in a box or something. No, like literally physically, I agree. Rather oh, than like an index card? One. Yeah. Okay. All right. Plus it's, it's a lot more uh, conducive if somebody is, you know, standing at a table with a beverage to be writing while they're talking to someone than to be, what's the word now, fubbing, uh, to turn away from the conversations and the event at hand than to and jump on their phone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Actually, one thing, um, it'd still be good to have that there, but maybe when we're closing out the awards and everything like that, that's where we can possibly toss up a slide with a, you know, QR code to go to the, you know, official feedback form. Um, so there's, there's, there's that. And then there's the, the actual, you know, boxes. Yeah, definitely, since we are going to have time in between the summit and the social that is technically free time. So we could keep the QR codes around, even printed out like around the summit if people are still hanging around too. Mm hmm Okay. Um, Brian, one other question. Like, we, we talked about it, I know, for Amsterdam, but for this time, do we have uh na cocktails that are going to be like na mocktails that are going to be at the celebration yes yeah, so i am planning to do another mocktail menu at this one again um the venue is working on some fun options for us so i don't have their menu yet but that is in the works awesome so, awesome thanks 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 all right cool uh ops natalie Yes. Hi. Um, so I have started the spreadsheet for um, basically uh, planning all staffing for the summit. I'm just going to pop it into the chat now. I haven't actually placed staff um, specifically yet because I'd like to have a bit of a powwow with my shadows and volunteers first so that we can kind of give them their um preferences especially with people possibly traveling I don't want to give someone a morning session if they're not going to be there until the afternoon um but generally I've kind of I've, I've kind of put this together big thanks to Noah for sharing a, a former spreadsheet um that was used so that we could kind of plan that um and what I've done is I've left 45 minutes for um awards and the in memoriam section towards the end of the of the um summit um, just based on some information I saw in Slack where we were chatting back and forth. I think, Bob, you had mentioned you usually leave around 40 minutes. Um, so I've left 45. Um, happy to have feedback on this. Um, also, I'm aware that some of the readability isn't great. I'm trying to figure out if I can do some something else with it. But I'm happy for feedback, but I'll be assigning staff um, soon. And then based on this, we'll put up a volunteer sheet 
for on the day. And I can imagine that we could probably use volunteers for the unconference sessions or the, the hackathon, the, the, the site hackathon part, those kinds of those kinds of areas that aren't recorded and don't require definite people on site beforehand. Um, now that I know that I'm going, I'm happy to room monitor or whatever. So yeah, great, awesome. I'll I'll definitely get for for the folks who are shadows and volunteers of Day of Ops um here. Um, I'll in our in our shared DM that I've got going on Slack, we'll try and organize some time. It'll be a quick ten or fifteen minutes, or even async, where you can kind of put your name in if you like, and then I can kind of go in and look for the blanks blank areas and and fill as needed. Um, also, the, on the, there's a second tab in there of like what the general duties are, and I know I have to translate some of those duties into like actual role descriptions on the in the handbook too. That's still something that's on my plate. Um, the, the, the apologies for that being a bit late, um, but yeah, I wanted to kind of just put that out there for feedback from folks. Um, if any anyone has any, awesome, great. Uh... Hey, uh, Natalie. Yeah, hi. Oh, you're cutting out, Josh. Yeah, pretty bad. Yeah. I think he might be typing. We'll just wait yeah. for it. Watch the typing. Having sound hardware issues. Okay. Uh, okay, Bob, you have to drop. Okay. I got like two more minutes and then. Perfect. Uh, Josh is going to slack Natalie. Um, and we can go ahead to uh, Reg, Mars. Yes, we've got 140 registrations. Great. Yes. Awesome. Looking good. We might get to nice. 200 maybe. I don't know. <laughs> the people who are not approved, what's usually the limiting factor? Is it like org membership or? Yeah, org membership. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Um, all right, Laura, meet the Kubernetes contributors community. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry, I can't help myself. Uh, so we opened up the issue last week, and we've had a lot of responses, even though we haven't formally announced it. I didn't even post it anywhere, and people started responding, which is extremely exciting. Uh, so I would like to hop on to the next round of comms that go out, Evanesh. So I'll reach out in the channel to start that thread so uh, Chris and Kaslin can be part of the conversation too as shadows. Um, I have, I think I still have all the comms from EU. So it's just kind of cleaning it up and getting it ready to send out. Uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of people showing up for that. Uh, Brienne, any luck on the schedule slot thing on SCED? Is it still yeah, kind so of that was actually troubleshooting? Just updated this morning so it should be up there if you see it if not maybe try clearing your cache to see okay. if that'll get it to boot on your computer excellent I, I all right see it when i looked at it so perfect thank you uh that was the only thing that uh of course tim was the one who found it tim hawkins and was like hey where's the, where is it in sked of course so i will have to uh update the um issue with that one last thing. Um, we've been discussing a possible special limited edition something uh, for people who show up to MKCC, uh, like a sticker for the people who show up, limited edition, and then like a special version of the sticker for the SIG members who show up or the contributors in general who show up. Um, the thought is kind of generate some buzz, get people to actually show up who are not part of a SIG and be interested in contributing um, some of the stickers from sticker app, you now can print on the back of them. So we were even thinking about like multiple QR codes about here's where you go to learn about how to do your first contribution, things like that. Uh, wanted to know if anybody had any thoughts on that idea, uh, like special little stickers just for MKCC. Like you can't get these anywhere else kind of stuff. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. All right. So I will throw out to the three of us, Laura. Um, I'm in Detroit, and my wife pointed out the other day, she's like, it's probably going to take you the same amount of time to fly as it would to drive. So if you want to give away something bigger, 
I could drive to the, to Chicago. So just gonna throw that out there. What about like Mortal Kombat action figures? We probably could get really, really cheap toy ones to give out. Because they just released that new Mortal Kombat one. Yeah, the new video. My only problem is this is like an inside joke at this point, and I'm not sure everybody would get it. But I'd be very entertained. Yeah. So, and yes, just for anybody who's asking, I am kind of working on those stickers. For Mortal Kombat. All right, that's it for me. All right. Awesome. Um, Joseph Awards. Hey everybody. Hello. Um, so I think as of last week we started where we only had out of the 22 SIGs, we only had like four responses um, through the week and overnight we got ourselves a little bit over 12 now responded. Uh, most have confirmed that they are in motion either to submit nominations for awards. And I think I have one that didn't have any, or they said they weren't going to be submitting anything. So uh, a little bit of progress, but as uh, there was a thread on Friday that uh, that uh, Bob, Bobby, and uh, Bob and uh, Josh kind of uh, we were talking about expanding the communication as well as extending the deadline uh, to give the SIGs. Uh, they may have missed the Slack messages, so we're going to push this back till next Monday for um, form to submit nominations. Um, I feel pretty confident, though, that we may actually be done even before we get to that deadline because the, the way I've seen the responses. So just uh, a heads up on that. Awesome. Any questions? I don't have any. Okay. And then just to close the loop, um, I know, Kaslin, you're leaving here soon, so I, I appreciate you giving that call out or being unavailable for three weeks, that is. Um, but the, the uh, if everybody hasn't seen... I, because I didn't see the one that you shared with me, Kaslin. Um, the, the did you put no, that, that one in the doc? Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. so we should do that. Yeah, so that one's the one we're going to roll with. Uh, Brienne, I'll probably need to sync with you about that, um, giving you the logo for the uh, the award, uh, the, the prize. Or actually, what we're giving to our nominees for awards. It's just a slight update from what we've seen in the past. We uh, tried out two lines of text for the contributor yeah like this is what you did thing <laughs> i'll find and that and put it in the summit staff okay thank you i think that's that's it for me so far awesome excuse me oh sorry it's, no, <laughs> it's not you i promise it's me i was i was like about i was giving you being a sleeping coat for you <laughs> um all right, and then it uh, brings us to the swag section. Um, so great news. I called them, talked to them on the phone, and it was great. We had a lovely conversation. Um, they are super down um, to help us out, um, and they are in West Chicago, which push comes to shove. We could go and pick them up um, to save on shipping costs, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the biggest things are number one, uh, there's a customization sheet there. Um, please fill it out, uh, so that we know what you want. Um, and number two, if you're a lead, um, please like have your, uh, make sure that your active shadows are listed there. Um, one thing that we talked about was the quantity, um, and I ballparked 30, figure because that was the number that came out of the calls um and they said at that quantity they give us a 10 percent discount on bulk um they said they have no problems uh embroidering the logo that we have except that um they messaged back to say that the text on the handle probably is not going to be readable um, and so they said, uh, they suggested maybe moving it off the handle and like putting it down below. Um, yeah, text below. Great. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's what they suggested. So we'll, we'll, we can go with that. Um, essentially the embroidery is $8 an apron, um, uh, which is not bad. Um, so. 
what did I miss? I think that was, those are the major things. Um, also, please vote on the apron color that you want there. We we talked about doing denim ones, and honestly, like, do we all have to have the same color one? Like, if somebody wants the the dark or the medium or the light, you know, people are still gonna be able to tell that somebody's wearing a denim apron, like for identifiability. But do we need to all be uniform there so like i have the voting set up but if you want to just pick one what do folks think is that doable but like like for a bulk order doesn't everything have to be the same they make all of them custom like they make they they don't have any inventory they make them at the time of order i don't believe it will be a problem i didn't specifically clarify that which i can do um but yeah if we have to pick then that's fine um but yeah uh we might be able to just give people the color that they want and if not it looks like the dark one is well in the lead right now um so if you have strong feelings <laughs> please make them known okay i have strong feelings <laughs> <laughs> thank you for making that known noah um yeah uh vote with emojis please fill out the spreadsheet um we do need to get this order in sooner rather than later and i will link with brian to figure out how that works in practice um but yeah they, they, they'll put together a quote for us as soon as we get everything together um do we want to get 30 we'll have some extra essentially if we order 30 we'll have some extra right now in the sheet um i think i have uh one twenty seven minus four twenty three and the sheet. Uh, so then we have like seven extra, which is that a bad thing? <laughs> I don't know. In the past, have we had like volunteers where we would want to be able to give them one of these? Yeah, I mean, we can talk about uh, the hats. Uh, Natalie might be getting some extra volunteers, Josh said, um, on the day of. Um, and then, oh. No, I was just about to say, agree. That's true. I might have, like, a couple of folks who decide to, like, join up day of. Um, also, if I have, like, folks who are just on standby, I would like to kind of, it'd be nice to kind of thank them, even if they weren't actively used. I'm going to actually make them monitor the Slack. So at least they're doing something. Um, so, so, yeah, so that might be nice. Yeah. Okay, so then we will, yeah, I'll get like a standard one. I guess like we'll pick like a standard run of the mill one and order up to, to get to the 30 and then 10% uh, off. Um, and then, yeah, go from there. Okay. Uh, that's all I have on that section. Thank you all for filling out the... Uh, the sheet when you get around to it um do we have anything for anything else section everybody doing good we kind of breeze through the meeting today all right well i don't want to keep you here if we don't have to <laughs> thank you all for being here today um made a lot of progress feels like um and yeah i'll see you all uh next week Get some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will try. Yeah.